Let's change some line spacing here inside of InDesign. Actually guys, in the world of design, we don't use the phrase line spacing, we use the term leading, just so you know, okay? So the way this video is going to work is I have a few talking points running down the left just here, and I'll be demonstrating those on this block of text on the right just here. So first things first, where can we actually find the leading values, the leading settings? So I might just uh, select a little bit of text just here, and uh, window, type and tables, character is the first place. The icon we are looking for is this little one just here. It's two capital A's sitting on top of each other. I'm going to close that up. Another place is the control panel, and that's actually what these options are running across the top just here. Window control is where you can find that if you don't see it at the moment. And the things displayed up here are dependent upon what you do or do not have selected on your canvas. So even with some text selected, uh, there are two options just up here in the upper left, the paragraph formatting options, but we want to be in the character formatting options, the first button just here. And there is our leading value just there. And the last place I want to point out is the properties panel just over here. Again, with some text selected, this is now showing text dependent values, and we can see that leading option just down here. Okay, so let's actually uh, change some leading. So I might uh, just select all of the text inside of my text box just here, and I'm gonna work out of the control panel just up here. Now, this first number just up here, that's actually the size of the text that we're using, and the second number, like I said before, is the leading just here. Now notice, this number appears in brackets. I'll explain what's going on in there in just a moment. So I can hit this drop down arrow just here and I can change the leading to be whatever I want. So let's say I change it to 18 point. You can see the line spacing change out here. Change it to 24, that's the result just there. So of course, if I have 12 point text and 24 point leading, that is double line spacing just there. Okay, so what's, uh, what's with the brackets we saw a moment ago? Well. If you set it to auto, InDesign will automatically set the leading to be 120% of whatever your font size is. So let's make this easy. Let's say I make the font size 10, you can see the leading is automatically showing up as 12 points. And actually guys, when you set your leading, you aren't restricted to the values in this dropdown just here. So let's say I really wanted a value of say 15, you can see it's not in the list just here, so maybe I'll choose 14, and then I can use the up and down arrows here to get to 15, or I could just type in a number just here, or you can actually just click inside of here and press the up and down arrow keys like so. Fantastic, so guys, that's how we can easily change the leading. And for many of you, that's all you'll need. But uh, let's press on with a few cool ways to actually uh, change the leading. So calculations by InDesign, what am I talking about here? Well, you can see up until now, we've been manually setting the leading. We've actually been specifically choosing a specific number. Now let's say I don't quite know what number I want. So let's say for example, the boss has come in, they've said, okay, we're going to be using 7.5 as our font size, and we're going to be using a line spacing of 1.4. Uh, good luck with that math. The great thing is InDesign can actually do calculations for you. So if I type in 7.5 times 1.4, if I just press enter or return, check it out. It's actually done the calculations for us. And this can get super specific as well. Let's say our uh, font size was 7.4 and our leading was 1.3. So I'm just gonna do 7.4 times 1.3. And there you go. So you can see it can uh, get very specific with the decimal places just up there. Now, let's have a look at some, some keyboard shortcuts. Let's uh, increase our font size a little bit more and let's set this back to auto. So we've currently got a font size of 12 and the leading is set to auto. Now again, I'm just gonna select all of the text just here. Now let's say I want to visually change this as opposed to dialing in numbers. Well, if I hold down the Alt or the Option key and then press the up or the down arrow keys, I can actually visually change the leading out here. This is a fantastic way to do it and something that I do do all the time. Now, actually, let me just uh, get to a nice starting point just here. I'm gonna set this to say 18 and you can see holding down alter option. Now what's interesting is it's jumping me by two points each time. So you can see it's currently set to 22 and then it jumps me to 20. So what's with the two point jump? 
Well, that's what I wanted to point out with this preference option just here. Now, here on a Mac, you will find preferences under the InDesign menu. On a Windows machine, you'll find those at the bottom of the Edit menu. So I want you to jump into Preferences, Units and Increments. So let's do that. And what I'm looking for are Keyboard Increments and this Size Leading option just down here. So that's what this is just down here. So you can see Size Slash Leading is set to two points. So that means when using Keyboard Shortcuts, as I was a moment ago, it's jumping by two points at a time. Let's say I wanted that to be one point. I'll set that to one, choose OK. Now let's do my keyboard shortcut and I'll press it once and it jumps from 20 to 21. Fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at the next option just down here, character or paragraph setting. Now guys, many people, myself included, kind of feel like leading is a paragraph level setting, but in reality, it's actually a character level setting. So for example, if I was to select just a little bit of text just in here, and you'll notice if I was to dramatically increase the size of the leading, it's given us this weird looking paragraph. And what's crazy is it's not just restricted to the line, the leading change is actually like character dependent. So for example, if I've got my cursor at the start of this line, the leading reads as 21, at the end of the line, it's reading as 36. So this feels like a big bit of a mess. So I'm gonna select everything and I'll just hard code this back to say a leading of 18 in this case. Now. If you want the leading to be assigned at a paragraph level as opposed to a character level, you can set a preference to do that. And that's what this thing is just down here. So let's go into our preferences for type. And there's this option just here, apply leading to entire paragraphs. I'm going to activate that, choose okay. And now, again, I'm going to select just a little bit of text and let's dramatically change this leading to something like 36. But do you notice, that the leading has changed for the entire paragraph, giving us a much more pleasing result. Fantastic. Okay, let me select all of that and again, drop it back to a more pleasing look just there. Fantastic. Okay, paragraph styles. Guys, I'm not gonna give you a lesson on paragraph styles. These things are fantastic. You should be using them, if you, if you need to, that is. But uh, let's have a quick point out of where you can find the leading values within that. So if I jump into paragraph styles, if I actually create a new paragraph style, I'll just call this test and uh, Myriad Pro, let's maybe change that back to regular. The main thing I wanted you to see here is guys, there's our leading value just there. So I'll just leave it at that for now, choose okay. And I might uh, assign that new paragraph style to my text just there. Because the main thing I wanted you to see is if I go back into that paragraph style and I come back into Basic character formats is what I was trying to click on just there, guys. And you can see if I change the leading to something like 11, something silly, with the preview turned on, you can see it changing just out there. Now, I know this is a horrible style, guys, but the main thing I wanted you to see just there is when you set up a paragraph style within the basic character formats is where you will find the leading option just there. So let me cancel out of there. One last thing I wanted to show you guys. Remember much earlier, I said that InDesign was using a leading default of 120%. If you want to change that, if I select some text, there's a little menu just in the upper right corner of InDesign itself just here. If you go into the justification settings, there's the value for auto leading. You can change that to anything other than 120. And if you're working with paragraph styles, as we were a moment ago, I'll just jump into our silly paragraph style just here. Uh, if you come down to justification, you will find an auto leading value just there, which you can change as well. Fantastic guys. That's uh, hopefully everything you need to know about leading slash line spacing here inside of InDesign. I hope that helps. Catch you later.